Madam Vice Presidents, we celebrate the references to LGBTQI plus communities made by the working group in the report, particularly when tackling the lack of access to justice and reproductive health care. We also commend the intersectional approach of the report and its recommendations to establish systems to collect data considering the multiple dimensions of inequalities and poverty. We would like to further raise awareness about the heightened levels of poverty and economic inequality experienced by LBTI women and gender diverse people. LBTI women's economic vulnerability is often shaped by labor market and employment discrimination, as well as the group's exclusion from social and civil rights systems. LBTI women often have reduced access to social and employment benefits. In the workplace, lesbian couples can be denied access to health insurance for their partner. LBTI women, and especially trans women engaged in sex work, are excluded from employment-related social protections due to its criminalization. LBTI women face additional barriers to securing housing and shelter. The increased risk of poverty and homelessness has an adverse effect on the health status of LBTI women, as well as the accessibility of healthcare for this group. Lastly, intersectional factors well known to be the accelerators of poverty risk affect LBTI women and gender diverse people, particularly leading them into situations of uh, marginalization. This is the case when they are de facto or legally single mothers, when they migrate to safer countries and their previous work history is not recognized, or their pension benefits are restricted significantly, or when they are aging. We encourage the working group to continue assessing the issue of poverty and equality from the angle of SOGI and to pay attention to the specific barriers and issues faced by LBTI women and gender diverse persons.